Of all men's miseries, the bitterest is this, to know so much and have control over nothing. Herodotus, father of history. What would you do if you discovered the most valuable knowledge in the world? Knowledge that in one year could save millions of lives, trillions of dollars, and eliminate virtually all of our suffering. What would you do? Would you want to prove it to yourself? And if you did prove it to yourself, what would you do? Would you want to help people? Would you want to share the message? And if you share the message and you found out that most people didn't want to hear it, what would you do? Would you give up? Would you try harder? What would you do? My friends, I balance these ideas off people every day, all the time. And it's interesting to see the response you get, or I get from it, and you will get from it. Reminds me of something Winston Churchill said, to paraphrase him. Men occasionally stumble upon the truth, but most pick themselves up, pick themselves up and hurry off as if nothing ever happened. Unfortunately, the vast majority of people fall into that class that I've coached. Just like fat, sick, and nearly dead, poor Joe Cross went around the country excited about being on a solid food vacation and telling everybody what he's going through, and everybody goes, oh, Joe, sounds great, but I could never do that. Amazing. In fact, I just had a couple gentlemen sit down right there, right as I was about to film, <clears throat> and I asked them, well, how long are you going to be here? You know, I, I was going to film down there when the sun was at a better time, better position for me, but there's a bunch of racket, uh, equipment in the background. I couldn't do it, so I had to come here, and now the sun's almost probably too high and blaring on me. So I asked these two gentlemen, I said, well, how long are you all going to be here? They said, oh, we're going to camp out for a while. And uh, not as easy for me to be spontaneous when I have two people 20 feet away staring at me. So I said, well, I, I'll just wait. I'll go over and start talking to them. <laughs> sure enough, I ran them off in no time flat. <laughs> I finally found a way to use this to my benefit. If I want to get someone to get away from me, just tell them something they don't want to hear. Now I laugh and it's really sad. It's really sad. The guy has a big old belly on him. Total denial. And as soon as I mentioned that he had a belly full of shit, he packed his bike up and took off. <laughs> so, I already kind of gave up on those guys. I wanted to film this video for you guys to to, to at least help somebody. And, and it is a dilemma, isn't it, for us? We can't control what other people do. We can't make people go out and exercise. We can't make people eat a better diet. Now, if, with our children, we can kind of control them to an extent up to a certain age. If we homeschool them, we can control quite a bit of their time, but they're always going to be able to get out sometime and possibly do what all their buddies are doing, all their friends. So it is frustrating to know so much and then have no control over everything or anything. All you can do, my friends, is, is persevere. The other night I came upon two people back to back that were ready for it. The guy here was 62. The other guy I talked to was 62. He was receptive to it. In fact, I met him at the beginning of the bike ride biked all the way out and all the way back and told him all about it. Richard, I hope you're following through with this, my friend. You seem like you are uh, really interested in it. I know this will help you, big time. This guy over here, he needed it too, but he wasn't ready. So it's a numbers game, you have to realize that. Sure, I could have approached that guy a little bit differently, but I didn't have the time. In fact, if I would have took the time to try to help that guy, I probably wouldn't be able to do this video today and help all you guys. So I kind of had to weigh that. What am I going to do? Try to blast this guy and see if he'll get his attention. It could have worked. You never know. So it's a crapshoot when we don't have any control. All you can do is just get out there and bounce different ideas off people. Be the change that you wish to see in other people. That's the best thing we can do. That's the minimum that we should do. Remember, folks, we're all on the hero's journey. Part of the hero's journey is proving this to yourself. 
So if you come upon the most valuable knowledge in the world and you prove it to yourself, you continue on the hero's journey. Now to be effective on the hero's journey, you gotta gather data. You gotta gather allies. You gotta learn more about this so that you can inform people. And why would you wanna do that? Because this is the most valuable knowledge in the world. Think about it. Within one year, millions of lives could be saved if people knew about this knowledge and they applied it. Trillions of dollars could be saved if people knew about this and applied it. And since most of our problems and most of our suffering is self-inflicted, virtually all of our suffering will disappear. Now that's exciting, that's something that you need to get excited about when you can understand the significance of why this is important. You can, you can put some, some, some enthusiasm, some passion into your life, and when you got passion in your life, my friends, you're in for a treat.